Hey baby, you new here? Do you like Halloween like me? I love Halloween. You excited? Can I get your number? Hello again, ghouls and goblins, and welcome back to the channel. Today's spooky adventure brings us to multiple stops again on a code orange hunt. Today we have three stores specifically side by side. We have TJ Maxx, what we have, which we have yet to discover any Halloween merchandise at. Beside it is Home Goods, and right beside that is Party City. So we're going to see if any of these have any new items we have not seen yet. You excited? I'm excited. I'm hoping to maybe see some new animatronics at Party City. I'm looking forward to seeing some, hopefully, cutouts at Party City that I have not seen yet. Anything vintage, of course, I'm excited to see it. Well, for vintage, it might be at TJ Maxx or Home Goods because they, they've, they've been up in their vintage game. They've been doing that for the last few years, and it seems like each year they're getting more and more vintage merchandise. So the only way to find out what we find is to join us if you dare. One, two, spooky five. here this is the first home goods that we've seen that's got a sign on the outside of the window mm -hmm. that says your halloween haunt saving is half the fun so let's go inside and see if we can find anything new but if they're advertising with a sign it's probably wiped out probably right when you walk in well, but i don't at, even see anything look, it's a day of the oh. dead pillow i've been looking for something like this oh, man. but i want the like real skeleton looking look one. at this guy fifty dollars not no. bad at all i don't know if that would be a guy or a girl with the flowers i think it's a female that's more of a female now these are new we haven't seen these yet no these are like little table sitters and she's got the old school face the old artwork there as well as this guy up here and these are retailing for Wow, not bad. $9.99 for that. Look at these. I don't think we've seen... We saw him. But we did not see the no, vampire. No, we haven't seen the vampire mummy. What is this? It's from Goblin and Ghoul for $15. This one's pretty long, too. Look at these little dangly legs. Yeah. That's cool. I don't know if this guy is more than $9.99 or not. But he is $16.99. Oh, look at this. It's a candle holder for 10 bucks. Oh, look at this. We haven't seen this. It's like a rockabilly guy. He Check looks out this cool. guy. This is a cool guy. You're not, uh, what do you like? Yeah. He'd look similar to you if he had a. I don't know. Beard. What do you think? Do we look similar? He's got hair. I don't have hair. True. So. Here's uh, more nutcrackers. Oh, I, we haven't seen the mummy. Watch where you step. I like Glitter the all over you. Oh, yeah. yeah, that wouldn't be good. I think I've seen this. I do dig these vintage storage boxes. I love the artwork on them. The, okay, I was going to say, I don't know if these little ones open. Oh, but yeah. no, the witch lost her hat. <gasps> Discount. Yeah, but she's not. She's still twelve ninety nine. Look at this cat. We haven't seen this cat. He's got a Christmas look to him. He looks yeah, like a nutcracker. I agree with that. Did we see all of these vampires? I don't remember this taller one. Um, possibly. This witch is not happy. I've lost my hat. And then there's this little section right here. A lot of this stuff. Oh, I love that. Yeah, this sign. is this is something we haven't seen yet. Oh, it feels like it's breaking. Yep. It's coming apart right there at the top, but. See if it'll light up. Yeah. It does. Have a spooky Halloween. And the price on this is $25. However, I don't think it's worth it because it's falling quickly apart. falling apart for sure. Here's a witch with a raven. I don't think we have seen her. No, yet. we have not seen that. It's a cool piece. And she's retailing only 10 bucks for the witch holding the raven. Not bad. Not bad at all. Here's a cool um haunted house but it does have glitter i don't think did we see him anywhere no he bobbles and he's vintage that's your style for yeah sure. i would just be worried the glue would come off the bobble eventually 
and it would break, but $10 on him also. Oh, glitter everywhere. Oh, no. no. Let's see if it'll light up. Put that it lights down. up. No, it's all over my hands. We did find this. That's actually very, like. This isn't creepy. a bobblehead. This one is actually not a bobblehead, so I would go with this over the cat. Yeah. $12.99 for him. So he's got a little bit of glitter around the base, but not too much. Oh, I like this. It's got the pumpkin, a devil, and it's supposed to be like Frankenstein. And this is going for $15. They've got a bunch of dish towels in here. It's Hello Kitty, riding a broom. Yep. There's also a different version of it. Oh, yeah. There's a look at the dish towels. This one's like pink. Yeah, belongs with the Michaels collection. So check out the Halloween dog toys. They've got the Adams family. There's Wednesday, and there's Morticia and Gomez. You get the two pack for $9.99. Then you get Wednesday for $5.99. Then they also have like a Frankenstein, the witch hat, the bat, and most of these are $5.99 also, as well as the pumpkins, the ghosts, a two pack of Frankenstein and a mummy for $5.99. My dog would ruin those in one second. So it looks like they've beat PetSmart to the punch this year for the Halloween stuff. Here's those annoying paper mm -hmm. scrunchies that they play with. And these are $9.99 for those. Then we've got this tug toy for the eight legged spider that you love so much. $8.99 for that, and it's called the Harry Barker Halloween. So let's check out this TJ Maxx and see if they have anything new in here. All right, here's like a Frankenstein aromatherapy diffuser. It's the green monster because they can't call it Frankenstein, obviously, for copyright reasons, but it's kind of like the Jack Skellington we've seen. Mm -hmm. $14.99 for this. If I'm not mistaken, this is our first Halloween sighting at TJ Maxx. Yeah. I think so. And then we've got all of this other stuff also. Here's this, what is this, makeup brush holder with the little black cat down there. Is this one too, with the skull? Yep, that's also a makeup brush holder. The black cat is $5.99. This one is $7.99. Oh, and then they've got hand soap. Yeah, here's Spiced Autumn hand soap. $4.99, so they're beating Bath and Body Works to the punch, so to speak. Another makeup. Yeah, another makeup brush holder. Then we've got this vintage looking hand soap box oh. here. Look at the artwork on that. Hand cream. Hand cream, excuse me, but look at the artwork on this. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And that's $6.99. This for is that. something that your sister would definitely She definitely like. would, so. But then there's also these different designs with the ghost. Oh, I like the ghosts. And then there's the cat in the moon, there's the owl. So it looks like there's two different ones to choose from there. And you've got this, Bad Witch Energy. I'm a bad witch. For five bucks, and then Magic post Potion. Are you a bad witch? You're Apple a bad Spice witch? Hand Soap. There's a cat. Yep, another aroma diffuser. Also $12.99. There's also this spooky cute plush spa headband with the cat ears retailing for $3.99. Maybe I'll trade out my hat instead for this headband. There's this one too. I think this is going to be my next headpiece. I'm going to trade out my hat for the spooky cat headband. I think you'd look better with the, the orange ears. Think so? Yeah. Pink isn't my color? Uh, Pink's not my color? Maybe not. Okay. So there's also the spider one too. This is more my style because I have all the spider webs and everything. True. So this Very is going to be my next headpiece. And this it's also $3.99. Oh, and we found where everyone is. They're all here at the Halloween section at TJ Maxx. Now, some of this stuff is kind of the same stuff that we see at Home Goods because TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and Marshalls are all under the same umbrella. So I think besides maybe her outfit here, it's changed up a little bit. We've seen her, but it says her pumpkin lights up. And it does. You see right here, there's her pumpkin lighting up. Mm -hmm. And she's retailing for right here, $129.99 for her. 
I would imagine she would need her broom, right? True. She would need her broom. It's a small broom. I guess she doesn't like big sticks. The mini broom is $24.99. All right, so we've found this five and a half foot animated skeleton in a box. Most time you don't find these in a box. They're yeah. just hanging loose, but let's see if it works. All right, he's a man of few words, so we'll put him back. Now he won't be quiet. <laughs> I can't get him to stop. But they also have them in the standard color also. He also lights up. And that's retailing for $39.99. I don't think we've seen them anywhere, right? No, we have not. These are like vintage trick-or-treaters from Candy Corn Lane. Got a little kid dressed like the bat. What is he dressed like? What even is that? Like a raccoon or something? I don't know. Maybe a cat. Then he's a skull. $7.99 for that. That's a cool piece for $7.99. I always say it, you can't have Halloween without peanuts and the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. What does he sing? Or you think it's going to be the Charlie Brown theme song? Maybe. Thinking Charlie Brown theme song. No. Oh. It's creepy, Snoopy. Creepy. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's, let's stop that. He is sixteen ninety-nine for Snoopy. Yeah. And he lights up. Also, he's got some weight to him also. And, of course, he lights up. He, I guess that's just steampunk, not even voodoo. Yeah, that's mainly steampunk because he's got the steampunk, steampunk goggles mm -hmm. up here also. And he is, they've got so many tags that hang off of all of these. Is it on the bottom? Yeah, it's $29.99 for Mr. Steampunk Skull. Here's a cute little ghost driving his pumpkin wagon on his way to Halloween Town. $12.99 for him. He's basically just stuffed. And when we were at um, Home Goods, we saw a bigger version of this, and it lights up, I believe, the same way as the other one did. Oh, that one's cool. It changes colors. Yeah, and this one is $14.99. I think this is from Michael's, right? This came from Michael's? I would say this came from Michael's. Oh, wait, that one lights up. Oh boy, let's see. Can I get it to light up? Yep, there we go. And if you're into the disco Halloween decorations, I don't really want to touch it because the inside is glitter, but it's $17 for that. This is from Michael's. We've got a pink snake with rhinestones or beads on it. Look at this um, Halloween dog. Oh, look behind the dog. And he's, the he's dog. got some of the disco vibe going on. But look at behind the dog. Oh, that's, that's creepy. really cool. But the dog, if anybody's wondering, does help out the Humane Society like some of these we've seen. Mm -hmm. And the doggy is, ooh, I mean, 60 bucks. Wow. Mr. Doggy, you are expensive. I think this is the first time we've seen um, mugs at curious what this Fright Night candle is going to smell like, but let's take a look at this, a better look at this before we get into that. And she's oh, it's from Day of the Dead. Yeah, Day of the Dead. 30 right. bucks. Not terrible because it's definitely a huge piece with a little bit of weight to it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, and right behind this witch uh, cat is Deadly Nightshade from Nightmare Before Christmas. That's like a cookie jar. I would say so, yeah. Yeah, it's a cookie jar. Doesn't smell very good. <sighs> it's not bad, but I'm more interested in this Boo Nilla Ghost Milkshake. Nah, that's not good. Oh, they even have Deadly Nightshade. That's not good. I don't think this is a candle, though. No, it's not. You can just. Oh, it was that bad. <laughs> <laughs> that candle was that bad. <laughs> so here's a Frankenpug, right? Frankenpug. Mm -hmm. Another one that helps out the Humane Society of the United States. $12.99 for him. And he's dressed just like Frankenstein right down to the boots. Oh, look at these mummy cats up here. That one's pretty big right there. Then we also have this 
vampire cat also for $12.99. So all of these help out the Humane Society. All of them, well no, he's $9.99. He's not $12.99, he's $9.99. And then look at this. Does he do anything? I think he should. No, I don't think so. It's just part of the Martha Stewart collection. Just a stuffed piece. Here's another one of these haunted snow globes. And again, these are all part of the Martha Stewart collection for $14.99. They have a few of them. This is not the Martha Stewart collection. This is part of the Broomstick Boulevard collection. Got the skull guy sitting inside his library there. Shake it up a little bit. This is the only time we like glitter is when it's confined inside of a snow globe. Agree with that. And he's $14.99. So next up on this updated Halloween hunt is Party City and we're gonna go in here and see if they have finally released any new merchandise. What are you hoping to see in here? More paper cutouts. More paper cutouts? More paper cutouts. Vintage cups. Maybe I'll buy the vintage oh, cups Oh, and this I'm time. seeing uh, spider webs. So yeah, they definitely... That's just because they haven't cleaned in a while. <sighs> yeah, they've got more stuff. Ooh, look at that gargoyle. Wow, there's a lot in here. Ooh, wow, I like this gargoyle. This is eight or eighty-one dollars. Wow, that's expensive. That's an odd price. Because the and extra dollar. And it's very dollar... deformed, but plus it's like a uh, squishy. Yeah, he's very like, squishy. But does I think the extra? You might have seen something like this. Oh no. Does the extra dollar really matter? But look at it. it says the pricing. Seventy-nine ninety-nine. So. Off. Yeah, that's off. Some paper mache pinatas. Mm -hmm. Lots of nightmare. For Christmas merchandise. Oh, there's even a grave. They even have scene kit. these change in Harry Potter signs. Oh, yes. Have you seen this wizard? I don't know if it's changing on camera, but. And then they've got the Book of Monsters as well, along with Hedwig. Oh, well, here's some paper cutouts, but Ooh. this isn't my style. But if you're into like black and white mm -hmm. decor, for $3.99, you can get 14 pieces decor and then there's this other bust right here yeah this is what i really want i haven't purchased it yet look at this here's um this is a table runner that looks like grass look at this moth mm -hmm. with the eyes and the skull and looks that's like it's 24.99 okay i thought it was in tj maxx still i was flipping it what over is to this find. a two-headed bat two-headed bat that's interesting and that is going for 25.99 this eye keeps following us all around the store. Big Brother is watching us. $4.99 for the dark art picture. Look at this wax LED candle set for $20. And they have set up a planogram here showing some of the items that are coming. And this set date is July 15th. Oh, Look there's an animatronic, that. the Rising Woman. The Rising Woman, huh. $124 too, also on sale from 180 bucks. I don't think I've ever seen this one. And this would tell us some of the stuff that's coming in, the animatronics. Yeah, it's the, oh, here we go, look. Art the Clown, animatronic. Pale Girl from Terrifier, animatronic. Beetlejuice animatronic, so they're coming. They're sh they should already be here, right? They're probably in the back room, I imagine. You get an entire inflatable pumpkin patch. Not just one, but you get the entire pumpkin patch. Not bad. I don't know what the price is on that. I don't see. I would pay $11.99 for it. Yeah. You know what I really want? I almost bought on their website was this, the, the, the misting, misting pumpkin. pumpkin. Cause that just looks creepy. And they've got all of these lights. Oh, they have an instant disco light. What's up with disco? I don't see that. Someone at Party City got creative. Get a good shot of this. In black balloons, they put 2024 over the Halloween display. Oh, yeah, they did. So someone got creative. They, I would have done black and orange, black and orange to mix it up, but. Here's some horror paper cutouts. And then look at that. He's Ugh. lost his head for Halloween. Full of maggots. We've covered that before. Mm -hmm. We don't eat meat, but I definitely would not eat this from the chop shop. No, definitely I would not touch not. that. Look at this like melting pumpkin. Look at this little mini pumpkin ghost light. 
What is this? Try me. Where do you try it, buddy? I don't know. Michael Myers. Life-size stand-up. You just pop them out. And, of course, it's also from Halloween 2. Wow. Halloween 2, again, having the big comeback for whatever reason. But I would imagine, yeah, this is life-size. It's probably like six, six and a half feet tall. I'm not sure exactly how tall Michael was supposed to be, but looks like they only have Michael available. Oh, look it. They've got a metal haunted house for 20 bucks. 20 bucks? You just put a candle in here. Yep, and that's exactly what you do. Not bad. Then they have this $7.99 bat serving party tray. You can put all your snacks, candy, chips in. And then there's this pink bat also. You ever seen a pink bat? No, definitely Never seen not. a pink bat either. Oh, and then we found some more. There's a pink skeleton. Hmm. <sighs> More with the pink stuff again. It's a rubber snake. Um, yeah. No, thank yes. you. Yes. No, yes. thank you. <laughs> Here's this. Maybe we can try it. Oh, yeah. And it looks like it's burning. That's actually pretty cool. You better watch out. Here comes the biggest roach. It's the oh. biggest roach you'll ever see. Gross. Here's some tombstones. I definitely do not recommend buying these because they literally only last one season. And some of these, yeah, you get a bunch in here for 30 bucks, but that's a waste of money to me because they do not last. In North Carolina, in hurricane season, they're going to be flying all the way to California. Hey, look at this. Sorry, we're dead. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> We've seen him before multiple times, but yes. he's yeah. always fun. I think Joanne sells this as well. Oh, okay. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this spooky code orange hunt at the three stores that we hit. It was, as, we have, as we have a spooky kid in the middle. Right in the back. It was cool seeing TJ Maxx finally release some of their Halloween merchandise. And what was even cooler was seeing some of the animatronics on Party City shelves. And the planogram showing that Art the Clown and the little pale girl are coming soon. No doubt they were probably sitting right in the back room and they just have not been put out yet. Because now, of... I know you like those. Are you planning to pick one of those up? No, I have way too much Halloween stuff and something that big takes up way too much real estate for me. You just want to see it in person. I just want to see it in person. I would be more content with just a little six inch Terrifier action figure, honestly, which I could find at Walmart for the bloody disgusting that they have available right true, now. True. All right, so if you like this type of content, we do all things spooky here on the Black Arts Club. So be sure to slash that subscribe button because we have many more videos coming out this spooky season and beyond. So until next time, we'll see you on the dark side.